Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ralphie from Ralphie Joe's Nails and I'm also a brand ambassador for Crystal Parade and Get Nailed by Laura McBride. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create these lovely nails with the little ladybug. Look how cute she is. She's sitting on a leaf. Anyway, um, I am aware that the crystal placement looks a lot uh, like um, <laughs> the Christmas uh, colors, but I mean... It's okay to have Christmas in May, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Anyway, I uh, hope you are going to enjoy this video. Um, sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea, and I will get started. I have here my nice, fresh, and undestroyed tips. <laughs> um, and I will start by painting uh, uh, two coats of acorn which is a lovely brown but it's a light brown so just paint that on first coat's done and now i'm gonna go in with my second coat to just make this uh, nice and opaque Second coat's done, and now to be able to create that wood texture and give it a bit of depth, I'm gonna go in with some alcohol inks, and I've got them in gray, burgundy, brown, and red. And these are all like nice warm tones, except for the gray, which is gonna break that warm pattern. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna create some lines. So I'm gonna take my first tip here, and uh, starting with my brown. Just creating some lines and just going in with like the different colors until I kind of like how it looks. So now um, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with some cleanser and a really bad brush. You don't wanna use your good brush for this. And I'm gonna disperse those lines because you don't want the colors to look like they're really blocky because we're not trying to build up Tetris here. We're trying to make it look seamless and natural. And I have right here an amazingly incredible, well-kept brush that I had for years. And to be honest, I'm just joking. This is a really bad brush. This has always been a bad brush. Um, I keep these kind of brushes to apply all kinds of things like pigments and uh, to use for alcohol inks and so on. Because you need brushes that can be really battered. You don't want to use your 12 pounds, 15 pounds brush to uh, spread out alcohol ink because you're going to cry afterwards because your brush is going to be ruined. So that's why I keep these kind of brushes here. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of cleanser and I'm going to go back and forth between maybe adding a bit more ink if I need some and uh, just, you know, dispersing it a bit more and so on. actually don't think I need to add any more. I think this looks okay. I, I like it. Uh, of course, this is not done yet, but I, I really like how it looks. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that uh, with the other two and then I'll be back adding some more details on the wood. So I've done these and they kind of look like it's a stone or something. I don't know, they just look so gorgeous. I love it. Um, before we move on to the next step, please make sure you put the lid on your alcohol inks properly because I've done that. I've uh, spilled them on the carpet and it's very hard to get them out. So do that because they stain bad. Okay, now that you're finished putting your lids on, uh, I'm gonna top coat these with Material Girl and I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. 
just to make sure that if I make a mistake with uh, the gel paint, like whilst I paint, I can wipe it off with no issues uh, because the, these are gonna come off if you wipe them off right now. So I've got here Material Girl. I'm gonna put a coat of this all over, cure it for 60 seconds, and then we can move on to the painting. These are nice and cured now, and that ink is safe in there, so I can wipe them as much as I want. And right now I'm gonna go in with a bit of brown paint, I already put it on my palette, and a really thin liner brush uh, to create that wood texture. These are all done and you can see that I alternated between thick and thin lines. Uh, you don't want them to be very even because that's just gonna look unnatural. So the more uneven they are the better. Um, and now I'm gonna start with my um, leaf and my ladybugs and everything. So I already decanted on my palette some white, some red, some green and some blue gel paint. Um, the blue gel paint I'm gonna use to make the green darker and the same with the white I'm gonna use to mix in the, the colors to make them lighter. Um, I also st still have some brown on my palette which I'll probably mix with red if I want a darker red. I don't like to use black because black tends to give the colors a bit of a desaturated look so I always tend to go in with um, you know some other colors to make them darker you do need your uh, color wheel for this so you just try and see what you can mix in your paints to make them darker without actually making them desaturated and i'll also go in with my liner uh, my five millimeter liner and my go-to brush and also my really thin detailer brush also i forgot to mention this i've put some zap as well which is the neon yellow from the pop art collection and I'll use this to make the green really, really light. Um, I don't want it to look like pastel green, I want it to still look like green, so I'm gonna use uh, yellow instead of white. Now going in with my go-to brush and my uh, green gel paint, I'm gonna just draw some leaves. Going in with my dark green and my light green and also my 5mm brush, I am gonna add some shading and some highlights on this.
also added a bit of black gel paint on my palette because I want to do the um, some very very dark um, areas on the leaves Now going in with a really light green, I am gonna add some highlights. This is the green I mixed uh, Zap in it. So you can see how light that made it. So I added a bit of white into the really light green because I want to give the impression that this leaf has some texture in it. Now looking at this, you can see that the source of light is on this side so that means that this is gonna cast a shadow behind it going in with Black Widow I mixed a bit of Black Widow with some um, top coat and going in with that in my five millimeter brush I am just gonna give these a shadow The last thing I want to create on this, and is going to be the center of attention, is the ladybug. So what I'm going to do is I will take some red gel paint and start. My detailer brush and some black gel paint I'm gonna start doing the um, black de details so I'm gonna put a head and a line uh, that splits up her wings
got here my crystal picker rubber and I'm just gonna start placing the crystals quite randomly. Still without curing, I've got some caviar beads, some silver caviar beads on my palette that are mixed with gem body. And I'm just gonna use those to fill up the spaces in between. I tried to copy the same crystal placement on the other side, as much as I could anyway. Um, now I'm gonna put a layer of Material Girl over all of them and give that a cure and then I will just do the little ladybug shiny just so she can stand out even more. These are all done now. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of I'd rather be shiny over the ladybug just to make her stand out. is it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up um leave a comment down below tell me what, how i did tell me what else you'd like me to do uh subscribe to my channel with the notification bell uh on and also if you want to purchase any of these products you can use ralphie 5 in caps lock um on both crystal parade website and laura mcbride's website uh i'm gonna leave everything in the description down below and i will see you in the next one bye